there. I'm not going to stop. to meet with representatives of the letters. So you see, our air traffic controllers are, are pretty well educated, pretty good. It was just great. Thank you. My hat off. You ever thought about taking that off? I think you are. Ready to find a place to go. I want to thank you so much. Pretty oh. your <laughs> starts to come through the side of the plane. Well, it was uh, a few moments there that I wouldn't want to repeat, sir. It, uh, it was exciting. But uh, with the help of the, the crew, uh, we got it under control. Everybody did a fine job. Uh, and 
I just want to express my appreciation to all the professionals in the system, in the air traffic control system. It's such an honor to meet Craig and the tremendous job he did. Um, it just gives one a, a good feeling to work with the professionals. Well, well listen, you both were professionals each of your capacities and uh, of the highest order at that time. Now, I don't know this much about it, but I read it was the number four engine. Yes, sir. Now, mind you, that would be the one furthest out. Yes. On the right side. Now, the controls were jammed when the prop came off as present. It came through the lower part of the fuselage, jammed flight controls and his engine controls. So, he was in the unique situation of having no control and flying it through the autopilot. And when he came in to try to land, he had no control of the tower. So they ended up having to literally shut the engine off and land it on the runway dead stick. <laughs> of all the things that have come across my desk since I've been there, three of them have really impressed me. This was one of those three. And Greg, and what he did with the, with the air traffic, bringing that pilot down to the smoking. 33,000 feet down the runway, 11 and a half minutes. I have to say, you said there are other controllers that contributed, contributed to that, and uh, I'm a little embarrassed by it. Actually, it's me because they've done quite a bit of that, that rescue work as well. well apparently, the, the pilot <laughs> found what he was hearing very reassuring. Well, we thank you very much for your time. Thank you. It's a pleasure. Here's our uh, tie bars. Oh, nice. For each of you, gentlemen, just little souvenirs for you ladies. Oh, thank you, sir. That's very just nice. souvenirs thank of you, Mr. having been on the. Very nice honor indeed, sir. Thank, thank you, you very much. Sir. Thank you. There have been some moments in here when, and if you think about it in the future, you might just call up <laughs> and reassure me. <laughs> you don't have to worry about your time to be closest. That's safe. No, I just meant that sometimes I think I'm going down in flames. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. serve at the request of Prime Minister Nakatoni and myself shows the importance that you place on Japanese-American relations. I've made it clear myself that I believe the, a strong, the strong Japanese and, and U.S. ties are critical to the welfare of the United States, our people, and of both countries. And I know that you will approach these deliberations with that in mind. Together, I think our two countries can achieve miracles. The partnership offers the world a, a model of stability and strength and hope. And uh, our two societies unlock the mysteries of the silicon chip. And I think surely between us we can generate the skill and the foresight and cooperation to resolve some of the problems that are both within our our partnership and outside of it, for the world. And again, as I say, I know how busy you all are, and I can't say enough to express my appreciation. I know that of the Prime Minister. We, uh, we developed quite a friendship. Williamsburg uh, only captured all of us. 
I think now the time has come for me to leave you for all of you to get to work. Well, thank you very much, Mr. President, for taking time. We know how busy your day is, and we hope we can make some contributions to be helpful in this very important relationship. Well, I know you will. You're, I'm in good hands. <laughs> <laughs> I think we have a good signing. The benefit of maybe a few remarks to commemorate this particular occasion. I am delighted to take the first step for what will be American Day in the private celebration of the 25th anniversary of Alaska statehood. Alaska was admitted to the Union on January 3rd, 1959, and even as now was then a treasure house of natural resources and a state of undisturbed vistas and incomparable beauty. In many ways, the story of Alaska and her people is the story of our country. The struggle of courageous men and women in a wild and bounteous frontier. Today, the state reminds us of that rich heritage and our own continu continuing efforts toward developing a nation while seeking to preserve its in irreplaceable beauty and resources. And the resolution which I am about to sign speaks of Alaska's material wealth, one-fifth of, of the nation's gold, no, one-eighth of the nation's gold, I had it wrong, one-fifth of the nation's oil, two-fifths of its harvested fish. And Alaska possesses 10 of the 16 vital materials that are needed for the nation's security. And all of this has resulted in the National Treasury collecting, I shouldn't say this in front of the gentleman, <laughs> collecting $3 for every $1 of federal money that is spent in that rich private state. As the resolution notes, the United States has reaped economic rewards from Alaska many times greater than its original $7 million investment. But uh, Alaska's contribution to our nation goes far beyond this. All Americans benefit from the commitment and courage, the vitality, and the frontier spirit of the people of Alaska. Alaskans and Alaska remain an inspiration to all Americans and a reminder of the richness, diversity, and beauty of our heritage. Today, with the sponsors of this resolution, Senator Stevens and Murkowski and Congressman Young, I call on all Americans and all levels of government to join with me in celebrating Alaskan statehood today with appropriate ceremonies and recognition. And I shall now sign a resolution into law, making sure that I use all three names. Thank you. Not many. Got them all. 